Have you ever heard of Gaijin Seed in Japan? I believe so. And have you ever experienced it? Not personally, but I've seen it before, yeah. At first I was like, oh, did they do something bad? Like I wasn't sure if it was me or like... like when I saw that happen, I sat next to the person. It, it's bad, but I really don't know why it's happening. For Japanese people, they don't see me like a Japanese. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's not nice. It's kind of strange. I've never experienced this situation. What's up, Yakuza? It's your favorite drama queen. And today I'm back with a new video where we're going to ask foreigners in Japan Have they ever experienced Gaijin Seed? Do they know what it is? Is it a thing? Or people are just overthinking? I want to know! So that's why today we are in Yoyogi Park doing street interview as usual Okay, pause. I know some of you right now are like Okay, Ila, what's Gaijin Seed? I've never heard of it. I don't live in Japan. What the hell are you talking about? So usually I like to give you a little bit of a context or like a literature review But there's nothing much written about it. Nobody has been doing research about Gaijin Seed phenomenon <laughs> But basically, Gaijin Seed, Gaijin Gaijin means foreigner in a very casual and sort of impolite way. Usually they say Gaikokujin and sit as well, a sit. And to be Gaijin seated is the fact that Japanese people wouldn't want to sit next to the foreigner in a crowded train. Or sometimes when a foreigner tried to sit next to them, they would suddenly stand up and, you know, change the seat and go sit somewhere else. You usually see that on TikTok and usually among foreigners it's something that we talk about. Some acknowledge it, some don't. I'm not here to give my personal opinion on it. I think I've done that so far on my channel. So I'm going to rather ask foreigners in Japan if they have experienced Gaijin seat, if they heard of it and what they feel about it. Also, why do you think it's happening? What was the reason? So far, I've seen only two articles talking about Gaijin seat on the internet. The first one from Japan Times that's just talking about the conversation acknowledging that it's something that exists and another one where a random person a foreigner who has been in Japan for two and a half years just state what he thinks and for him so many people are overthinking it because they have confirmation bias and he also went ahead and gave an archetype of the foreigner that Japanese wouldn't sit next to according to his experience and what he has seen so far living in Japan to give you a little bit of an idea watch this But if you're new to this channel, hi! My name is Ila and I go by Crazy Ila. I live in Japan in the country of the rising sun. And I forgot my intro, but I got a minute. I live in Japan and every Sunday I upload a video about my life in Japan in different formats. A street interview like today or chat or other interview indoor with guests. So if you like this type of content, you like my pretty little things, you know. Or you like Japan, you like the country of the... I say that a lot, the country of the rising sun, but there you go. Yeah, subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because that way you can be notified every time I upload a video. Video. But if you've been to this channel already, you're a Yakuza. Thank you for tuning back in. Thank you for the trust. But now let's get going. First, uh, where are you from? I'm from Canada. So when did you come to Japan? Three years ago. Have you ever heard of Gaijin Sit? No, it's the first time I hear it. So it's basically the fact that Japanese people sometimes wouldn't sit next to a foreigner inside a train. <gasps> I... yeah, probably actually. A couple times, probably. I wouldn't say it's uh, often, especially, you know, when there's a lot of people in the train. Just people just rather sit than avoid me, I guess. But yeah, for sure, I've experienced it. Maybe with maybe slightly older people mm. that maybe are not as used to foreigners as maybe the younger generation. And how did that make you feel? At first, I was like, ah, oh, did I do something bad? Like, I wasn't sure if it was me or like... What happened but now i'm just well it's kind of their problem at the end of the day they're not sitting you know i just do what i have to you know i'm sitting and i'm good so i don't really mind it anymore but i can see why you know for the first time or someone just come to japan oh oh like you feel a bit kind of a i wouldn't say discriminated but a bit uncomfortable maybe or maybe it's your tattoo <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask them you know <laughs> Alors, bonjour, bonjour. <rire> Alors, je suis en train d'interviewer les gens en ce moment pour savoir s'ils si, euh, ont déjà expérimenté ce qu'on appelle, euh, on a surnommé euh, au Japon le Gaijin Seat. Euh, du coup, je voulais savoir quelle est ton expérience par rapport au Gaijin Seat au Japon. Je n'ai jamais expérimenté cette situation. Et bon, peut-être parce que je suis encore nouveau ici au Japon, je n'ai fait que 4 mois. Ah. 
Mais ce qui est vrai, j'ai remarqué à plusieurs reprises, les gens ont refusé de s'asseoir. À côté de moi, quand il, restait, il y avait une place, ils préféraient rester debout. Et là, là, là c'était fréquent. Dans les trains Mais, Oui, oui, dans les métros, tout ça. Et comment ça t'a fait te sentir Qu'est-ce que... euh, Personnellement, je m'en fiche. <rire> Mais tu t'es dit, tiens, il y a quand même un problème là. C'est difficile de, de cerner c'est quoi le problème. Alors, je me dis, c'est peut-être juste une coïncidence. Mm -hmm. C'est que vrai, quand je trouve une place, je peux m'asseoir sans gêner quelqu'un. Il n'y a personne qui s'élève. D'accord. Par rapport à ce que vous avez dit. Mais j'ai remarqué que quand les gens entrent à plus d'une fois, les gens ne voulaient pas, euh, ils préféraient rester debout que de s'asseoir sur la, la seule place qui était à côté la de moi. La seule place. Oui, oui, oui. On pouvait essayer en anglais. Ah. Where are you from? Upstate New York. How long have you been in Japan? About three and a half months-ish this nice. time. Oh, this time. So yes. you've been here several times. Yeah, I was here for a year, study abroad about 10 years ago. Uh, have you ever heard of Gaijin Seat in Japan? I believe so. And have you ever experienced it? So one of the weirdest things is like since coming here, I've almost had like the opposite experience where like there'll be like plenty of open seats and I'll be like sitting down and somebody like plops right next to me for oh, like what? some <laughs> unexplained reason. I really don't know why it's happening, especially because, you know, if you're if you're on the train, you're like, oh, I want my space. So. <laughs> you want your space in a train. Bruh. Kind of conversely, I'm like, could you, could you move, move please? Somewhere? Yeah. I mean, it's only been three and a half months before I was in Osaka, where it's not as crowded, so I didn't see. have to deal with it as much. But I mean, it very well could be. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that it does, just you know, statistically. But I mean, you just have to kind of think that you know, maybe it's not. It could be you, but it's not always you. If you're primed to kind of think that way, it could be, you know, interpreted that way. I mean, maybe even I'm ignoring it because I noticed like kind of the weird opposite thing happening, like straight off the bat. So maybe it has happened and I just like don't pay attention. Thank you. Where are you from? Canada. How long have you been in Japan? About four years. I'm asking people today about something called gaijin sit. Have okay. you ever heard of it? I have not. So it's the fact that Japanese people wouldn't sit next to foreigners sometimes in the train or they or they would suddenly stand up when the foreigner is sitting next to them. I see. Interesting. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have you ever experienced something like that? Not personally, but I've seen it before, yeah. Do you think it's a thing or people are kind of overthinking about that? They may be overthinking potentially. I think so, yeah. Because you said you've seen it. Oh, sorry. Do you mean they, does it exist or is it yeah, just yeah, like... Yeah. Oh, no, I guess it exists, yeah. I have seen it. I haven't experienced it. And how was the situation? when you saw it can you describe a little bit yeah there was a guy sitting across from me on the other side of the train car and uh, that someone came to sit next to him and then that guy got up and went two seats two rows down yeah. and how did that make you feel yeah it's kind of I mean it's not nice it's kind of strange <laughs> I didn't think too much about it to be honest <laughs> I was like okay whatever man you know I'm from the United States uh, have you been in Japan for long four months Oh, that's, that's pretty, fairly new. Yeah. Gaijin Sits. And I would like to know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've seen it a lot on like TikTok about different people that come to live in Japan. So you've never experienced anything like that? Um, sometimes um, if it's like people with like younger kids, mm. but normally people will sit next to me. Mm. So I don't really notice it a lot. I think it's just unfortunately like ignorance but like japan's been such like a monoculture for so long that they haven't really experienced what it's like to be diverse mm -hmm. so i think unfortunately they just aren't very like experienced it, it's bad but i think you just need to remember that they don't know better <laughs> so hopefully things are starting to change how long have you been in japan i grew up here oh nice yeah i mix it Oh, you're local! Yeah. Okay. Japanese and, and Peru. So I'm That's Latino. nice! <laughs> yeah, I'm Latino. So, from Japanese people, they don't see me like a Japanese. Actually, when I go to like my job and put some perfume mm -hmm. and sit next to someone, they just melt me and be like, it's too strong. Their face gonna be like, something like this happens to me. A lot. You think it's because of your perfume? Yeah, because it's my perfume, but like sometimes too, like when I finish my job or something, mm -hmm. I see it. It's too many people in the train but like no one wants to sit next to me or when I'm talking with my friends in the train they think I'm too loud or something my boss is too strong they do like move around another seat good for me <laughs> how did that make you feel? well I grow up here like happens a lot to me for me now for now it's like normal to me it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is good afternoon, good afternoon. Where are you from? I grew up in Japan, but I'm half 
American. So uh, today I'm asking people questions about gaijin seed. Have you ever heard of such a thing? No. So in the foreign community in Japan, people call gaijin seed the fact that Japanese people wouldn't sit next to some people oh. on the train yeah. or they would suddenly stand when a foreigner sits next to them. Mm -hmm. I haven't myself, but I've seen like people experience it on the train. What do you think about it? I think it's kind of disgusting because it's like people, it's people, it's all people. I think when that happened, like when I saw that happen, I sat next to the person. Why do you Why? think this happens in Japan? I don't I think Japanese people are like used to different cultures. That's definitely something that maybe the school has to work on or the government has to work on. Where are you from, first question? I'm um, born here, but I was like raised in Australia. But I'm half, yeah. Ah, you have Japanese half yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Today I'm asking people a question about gaijin si. Have mm. you ever heard of such a thing? No. Or they oh. would. <laughs> um, well, I personally never like experienced it, but I guess like like they move mm. away. I haven't experienced that, but I guess like if they see that you're there, like they won't sit there. Like maybe they look a bit uncomfortable, but they wouldn't. I've never seen somebody move. What do you think that happens? I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I don't see any correlation. Thank you very much okay, for your thank time. You. <laughs> All right, guys. So you've Great. watched foreigners talking about their experience with gaijin seats and kind of the reasons why they think it's happening. Let me know in the comment section if you live in Japan. Have you ever experienced gaijin seat? Have you ever been gaijin seated have you ever heard of such a thing what is your opinion on the phenomenon actually is it racism xenophobia a very much forgivable ignorance or something that should be happening anywhere anyway that was basically on the receiving end in the next video it's gonna be next week for some people watching right now next video for some others i'm gonna be asking rather japanese people if they ever heard of the same phenomenon and we're gonna just you know have their opinion on the same thing so now don't forget to do one thing subscribe to my channel oh no two things subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media because that's where i upload my daily life pretty much yeah i'll see you in the next video bye bye uh don't forget to uh. so if you enjoy so if you enjoy uh. so if you have enjoyed this video <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for i cannot do this i don't know what i said before